Hello everyone, that manga kid here to do a reread review of My Love Story. Uh, story is by Kazune Kawahara and the art is by Aruko. This is a 13 volume shoujo beat um, viz series. Uh, it's been out for a couple years now. Um, it gained a lot of popularity when it started, when the anime came out. Um, and then people, a lot of people were buying the manga as well because it is a shoujo, but it's from the perspective of a male protagonist rather than a female. Uh, and this male protagonist is Takeo Goda, who is the giant guy you see on most of these covers. Uh, he is not conventionally um, a, a male counterpart in shoujo. Um, so the story kind of gained a lot of popularity. Um, and then we've got uh, Rinko is the main girl who you see on a lot of the covers as well. And then Sunakawa is the pretty um, best friend of Takeo. Uh, he is the traditional uh, shoujo male um, love interest, but he is not the love interest in this story. Uh, the charm and the popularity and of this story really comes from the fact that Takeo is this ridiculously lovely human being. He is naive, he's kind of childish, but he's over six feet tall, he's huge, um, he's sweet, and he's like he's anything you could ever want in either a partner or a best friend. And the, the reason this story is so well done is because it really is about family and friendship and love um, amongst people who are good people. Uh, you know, Sunakawa, the best friend, is this quiet, pretty boy who girls just throw themselves at, and he's not interested at all. Um, he is best friends and has been best friends with Takeo his whole life, pretty much, since they were like six years old or something. Uh, and Takeo is so, such a polar opposite from him. He's loud, he's obnoxious, he's overzealous, and he's... Uh, but he's so nice and he's got, he's just full of heart. Everything he does, he does because he believes it's the right thing to do. Um, he doesn't lie or, uh, manipulate people in any way. Like he's just so pure and it's hilarious because his girlfriend, Rinko, the, the tiny, like very, very small girl who is his age, um, but you, like, five of her could make up Takeo's entire existence, uh, or, or, or being. Um, she's so small compared to him. Uh, he basically saves her from a groper on the train uh, they're, when they're both first years in high school, and she falls in love instantly. She thinks he's the coolest, like, superhero guy she's ever met in her whole life. Uh, she thinks he's gorgeous and, um, and starts baking him... She bakes him a cake, I think, at first to thank him for saving her, and then they just start hanging out after that, and very, very quickly they start dating. Um, so the story really isn't... It's not a lot of, like, he said, she said for, like, ten volumes or anything. It's really just, okay, they figure out they like each other quite early on, and then the story is them dating. But also, it's other people realizing that Takeo is a really good guy. Um... What I like about this is that you really get to see like her friends, her family, uh, his family kind of adjusting to this new normal because Takeo has never had a girlfriend before. He's very childish and naive, but, um, but he's a good guy and, you know, he doesn't, he's not conventionally attractive, but Rinko thinks that he is the most godlike uh, handsomest man she's ever seen. And it's hilarious because other people are like, oh god, why is this cute girl dating this this huge like caveman-like dude? Um, and then he just, he wins everybody over. It kind of reminds me of Haven't You Heard I'm Sakamoto in the way that like all the guys hate or everyone hates Sakamoto at first, but then all of a sudden, but he'll like, but then they realize how perfect he is and he's good at everything and there's no reason to hate him because 
it's just, at the end of the day, it's just jealousy if you do actually hate him because he's such a purely, uh, like, fantastical being in that he's good at everything. Takeo is kind of like that in the sense where, like, he's he has such a pure heart, he has such pure intentions with everything he does, he always puts others first, and the people around him kind of realize who this guy is and why he's worth, you know, being around. Um, Kazune Kawahara is hilarious. The writing is so funny. High School Debut is one of my favorite shoujos. Um, and the humor is, is, uh, it's comparative. I like High School Debut better than My Love Story, but it is very funny, and it was fun to take a trip in a, it, uh, down a different uh, story that Kazune Kawahara has written. Um, the art, uh, Aruko's art, is very good. Um, the faces, the ridiculous faces, are really what gives this manga um, a lot of the humor and charm. Um, it's just super pure it's i don't even know what else to say it's just lovely and i like that you get to see a lot more of um takeo and Rin uh, rinko's families um less so rinko's but you do get to see takeo's family especially in the latter half of the series and you do get the friend groups, and of course, there's little, you know, love situations happening within the friend groups as well. The other interesting thing about this is they don't go to the same school. Um, so it's kind of a fun dynamic where you really do get to see, you know, these two people that are very much in love, uh, but they still have their separate lives. Like, you see their school lives where they're completely apart from each other. Rinko goes to an all-girls school. Um, so Takeo gets to hang out with his guy friends at his school, and Rinko gets to hang out with her girlfriends at her school, and then they do get to hang out outside of school and be coupley and cute and whatever, but it's really not like a school, uh, it's not much of like a school shoujo because they're not in school together. Most of the time they're spending is outside of either at each other's houses or in the park or whatever. Um, so that's a kind of fun twist as well if you're used to uh, high school shoujo where everything takes place at school all the time and it doesn't seem like they go anywhere else. Um, this is an another reason why this one is kind of fun and different. Um, anyway, if you've not checked out my love story, please do. It's wonderful and lots of um, guys that don't typically read shoujo tend to like this one as an intro to shoujo because it does have a male protagonist who's not some pretty, you know, uh, popular boy. Um, so it's a nice intro to the shoujo demographic for folks who are not used to it. Um, but yeah, I've read this twice now. I will read it again. I, I really do like this series. Um, and if you haven't checked out High School Debut by Kazune Kawahara, highly recommend that. The humor is excellent as well. Thanks for watching. See ya.